<laughs> we see John John heat 12 against Jake Marshall. Exciting heat, that one. And Connor O'Leary, he really needed something. He'd had the 5.5, but, you know, Griffin had had scores, both two scores, better than that. Welcome back to Sunset Beach. Rolling right in with some action from John John Florence. Solid. Start with that power car off the top. Digs in again. Very aggressive. First couple of turns. Incredible performance. So before we get there, John John Florence on his start. Beautiful wrap and his board looked just beautiful. He looks so fast. Look how clean and easy and in control he makes everything look. Beautiful start from John John just looks so cool. Drama of that moment. If you can coordinate a moment that has that drama in it, the big scores are going to follow Jake Marshall. And everyone's uh, channeling how Griffin's been maybe one of the best in the warm ups, even at Sunset Beach. And then it comes down to a heat, and sometimes he suffers an early loss, even though he's in fine form. Here comes John John Florence. So much control of that 6 2. Just looking for a second score in this first half of his heat. Making sure that he's got a couple of rides on the board that he can then sit back with the priority and start to build upon. Great first half and obviously Jake Marshall with the point five. So half time advantage to John John Florence. Overlapping format suited his approach so incredibly well. Here we go with the rookie Jake Marshall from Encinitas. Nice steady down carve. Hard off the bottom, beautiful oh. top turn, but loses the handle on what would have been a very dynamic. Kelly Slater opting to be on the inside more and deep on the peak. He must have a strategy we don't know about, but up and riding, Kaipo. Here we go. Let's pay our attention here to JJF, John John Florence in the priority. He's swooping through some turns and looking confident. He's been riding a... Oh, and there was a broken board from the impact oh, of that off the top. Almost looked like a broken shoulder that stuck on the board. So let's take a look at that, and I'm pretty sure he broke his board. We'll get another vision of it. Let's take another look at it. Break it down for us, Makua. Swooping back all the way back up to that powerful section, almost like dropping back in again. John John coming off the bottom. He's really working the fins on that board. You can see the fins from the front. Oh. <laughs> and then right there, just, you know, the tail of his board went one way, and his the weight Gosh. and everything else was on his front foot. It almost and looks right like he there. shaved as well, like right here. A little bit of, shoo, shave the beard. Um, but it did look so like one of those things. The board, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, just Broken. purely from the impact. Jake Marshall, the challenger He's to John John Florence. Now. Right now, surfing through this wave. He's trailing John John and looking for a big number, 8.83 inside section here for Marshall and some soupy water to contend with. I think Jake's just wanting to get to the end of that. He got a four point ride for that way before that he fell on the second turn, so he'll be kicking himself for that mistake against someone like John. And that's powerful surfing, just to snap a board underneath your foot. Makua, Jake. Uh, just down the line right here, a little bit late to that first section, comes around, Nice carving turn. This boy knows how to use the whole wave. Unfortunately, he gets a little stuck behind right there. Could have got a little tube time, but nonetheless, a little carve right in John John's face. And I'm not going anywhere right now. Another wave here for Jake Marshall. Nice snap off the top. Again, good pace from the rookie on tour. Another forced snap and just decides to do the, <laughs> the sacrifice the there will give man. looks like there's a wave coming i'm not sure where he is in the lineup compared to where this wave's coming in but i'm sure john john will be somewhere taking a sniff and here we go kaipo six point right could just be one move for him this is what it comes down to john john florence carves off the top this wave steepens up on the inside and, and oh. it runs away from florence so we talked about the time bandit we talked about time management now, John John Florence under priority, 90 seconds remaining, still is going to need that score, and Jake Marshall is on the precipice of a giant upset. Jake Marshall is not backing down, Kaipo. Here he goes. Goes on the offense and takes this wave with his priority. He needs to better a 5.33, so we'll see how this choice plays out for the rookie. Nice snap on the inside there. And that's Whoa. all that wave is going to offer. As John John Florence wow. in the priority heat, 
uses his priority, but gets knocked off. A lot of gamesmanship in the last minute of that. He Here we go. John John, let's see what happened there. Big wrap off the top. I mean, was that a seven point turn? I'm not sure. John John is eliminated from competition. Jake Marshall will be advancing into the round of 16. Okay? And now, well, let's take a look at the numbers first. And in addition to that, in the new priority heat, which is Kelly Slater versus Matthew McGillivray, Kelly Slater now holds a priority interference.